the two helicopter, the two, um, pardon me, the two um, police cars. I at one point was concerned they were on fire, but in fact, that is just the spotlight from a police helicopter that you're seeing on that crowd, Tony. All right, uh, a while ago, not only we saw police pushing people down Hamilton Street toward Robson, uh, Leah Henry is down in that area on the phone now reporting to us. Leah? Tony, I'm heading up Richard Street. Uh, we've gone through a number of areas where people have been throwing glass bottles from apartment buildings onto the riot police below. We've seen cars where people have just abandoned them. They've had to jump out of the cars. The windshields of them completely smashed in. Garbage cans on fire in the back alley. And as we were making our way up Richard, people were taking the newspaper and post office boxes and throwing them through the windows of the hotel, the Western Hotel that's on Robson. And as we moved up Richard, they are throwing uh, planters. They are throwing newspaper boxes through the windows. People were walking up the street crying. Uh, we've seen people injured, and women were coming up to us screaming out how embarrassed they are that this is what Vancouver has turned into, the reputation of the city. Uh, we have seen uh, the police have been trying to use fairly uh, low-key methods still. The riot squads are out, but they haven't been uh, you know, uh, confronting any of the crowd, more just trying to move them out of the area and out of the downtown. Leah, I'm just going to break away for a moment because uh, up where we saw those two police cars being attacked, we now see what I believe is either, I think it's tear gas, but it may be smoke. Uh, Natalie has an eye on that. I was watching while Leah was talking, and indeed the protesters did what they've been trying to do. They got inside and tried to light that police car on fire. I'm not sure if someone then quickly put it out, but they've been trying because the windows are smashed to get some kind of igniter in there and light that on fire. So that's where the smoke came from. It was from protesters. We've been watching close, closely as several people have been taking turns jumping up and down on this police car in the parking lot across from us. Uh, still, no sign of police moving in on this particular crowd. They are on the periphery. Um, it makes me wonder, as we are getting word of a, of a serious car fire on Seymour in a parkade, our crews are on the ground actually running back to the plant as we speak to bring us those pictures so we can take you to that. And that's uh, just happening. So I don't know how Vancouver Police, they're prioritizing where the bulk of their officers are. I can also tell you a block away on Dunsmere, there is a huge um, a contingent of police there. Um, they are outside. Yeah, oh, and as we see, that's right now there's flames. I'm not sure if this is firecrackers, but there's I think that was a, uh, more tear gas. They were the police with their... Yes, uh, and, and just another situation across from us is the Queen Elizabeth Theatre, where there is a performance going on tonight full of families and children, and at the moment, the, the show has let out, but no one's leaving the building because they're too afraid. If I look across, I can see lots of families. It's a show, I believe it's wicked, and uh, people who didn't want to go to the Canucks game went there, and now these people are staying inside just too afraid to come out and get to uh, get to SkyTrain, get home safely, because the city just doesn't seem safe at this point. As I'm saying on Dunsmere, which is across the way, there is a heavy police presence, and now we're seeing a close-up shot of that police car on fire. And people don't seem to be getting away quickly enough, but there it is. The people in the Queen Elizabeth Theatre are waiting to get out now, wondering what is going on out there. They must have heard an inkling of it, I suppose. But now those, those police cars are clearly on fire. Flames are pouring out of the both cars. And uh, they've managed to do what they tried to do, and that is uh, put the flames to those cars. And there are so many people in close proximity to this. Chris and Brown, what do you have? have Chris, sorry, sorry, Natalie. Chris? Yeah, uh, hi, uh, Tony. Well, look, uh, just have a look at this scene out here. I, I want to say it's almost post-apocalyptic, and that's really what it is. I mean, this is right out in front of the CBC Plaza. Uh, the police on horses came through, and they cleared absolutely everybody out. A few of the stragglers wouldn't go, uh, and uh, they were pushed. There were bonfires burning and all the garbage cans, which have now, go now, now gone out. And uh, the place just looks absolutely, totally wrecked and trapped.